r slash ask reddit for the ones who have experienced sleep paralysis what did it feel like i've only experienced this twice but here's what both of them were like so i woke up drenched in sweat it was almost like i couldn't breathe i couldn't move my head either it's just staring up at the ceiling and using your peripheral vision to see things around you the room was almost pitch black and all I could see were two faint white lights next to each other. They got closer to me as I could see what it was. It was a girl that had her hair pointing straight up but still swaying. And the rest was just a silhouette. She stood there staring at me. I couldn't scream. I had trouble breathing and I couldn't move at all. She disappeared but I still felt an evil presence. About two minutes later the eyes appeared again but they were on the ceiling this time. She floated towards me and sat on my chest. I couldn't breathe. I was struggling. I felt like I was going to die. Then I gained full consciousness and could move and breathe. I was shaking so much. I was drenched in sweat. Needless to say, I didn't sleep for two days in a row. I felt something very similar when I was 16. The night after my aunt's funeral, I was exhausted from grieving and went straight to sleep. I woke up to a ghastly looking woman with sharp teeth, dressed all in white whisper yelling into my face. She floated on top of me while pinning my arms. I felt fear, extreme frustration and anger that I forced myself to wake my body up. I'm 28 now and I remember everything till this day. I've experienced on average 3 times a week for the last 20 years. I've only gotten used to it about 3 years ago. It's horrifying. You feel helpless and vulnerable. Does not matter if your significant other is in the same bed, you will still feel the same way. Your body is completely frozen. While you are lucid, you can see, smell, hear and even feel. Your body will experience either auditory and or visual hallucinations. It only lasts a few seconds, but it will feel like ages. No one can help you but yourself. There is a reason why people who have had sleep paralysis will claim they were abducted by aliens. It's absolute hell. The worst part is just trying to move and feeling you can't, so you just feel trapped. Also, my first sleep paralysis I remember there was this dark figure standing over by bed and it had like a detective hat and it was just standing there looking over me and everything else was tinted orange except for the figure. The weird part is, when I searched up sleep paralysis figure, apparently that man in a hat is common for other people to see which just creeped me out even more because I just saw illustrations of the exact figure I saw when I had sleep paralysis. Absolutely terrifying. It's not the just inability to move that's the bad part, it's seeing things that aren't there. For me, this varied from a ghost-like person stood over me to a huge spider slash scorpion slowly climbing up my bed. Occasionally I have just heard whispering getting louder and louder. Combined with the fact that you can't move to turn a light on or defend yourself it's truly scary. Rationality goes out the window and in the moment I truly believed that these things were actually happening. I couldn't move. It felt like I was strapped down on a gurney with iron clasps. I tried to scream, but no sound would come out, even though I felt the pressure in my chest. I genuinely thought that the creature that I saw during this experience was going to kill me, so I braced myself. Next thing I knew, it was gone, and I could breathe again. Had pretty severe sleep paralysis throughout my childhood, with hallucinations occurring practically every time it happened to me. Each time felt brand new, almost like you're not able to realize what is happening to you, even if it's happened before. Just terrifying each time. Hallucinations were pretty consistently of some kind of animal or human-like thing. One time there seemed to be a lizard on my nose, another time it looked like a very small demon-like being was running across the end of my bed. Felt so powerless each time due to the combination of not being able to move and the confusion of why it was happening and what exactly it was. Seemed like an eternity each time. Very thankful that it happens only very occasionally now. The first time it happened to me, I woke up, unable to move, and tried to scream but couldn't. I felt as I could see almost everything around me with my peripheral vision, but not very clearly. I felt as if someone was watching me, I was sleeping alone, 
and getting closer and closer, at the edge of my visual perception, there was this sort of silhouette coming at me. I was trying to move like crazy the whole time, and then when it finally reached me, I could move again. It happened a couple of times more after that, but I wasn't as scared as the first time. I had my first experience with sleep paralysis not that long ago. I woke up, or thought I did, to the sound of something coming in through my open window behind me, but I couldn't move or make a sound. It was the most scared I've ever been and started hyperventilating, then snapped out. If it after a few seconds and the room was completely quiet, I always thought I would be able to recognize sleep paralysis in the moment and stay calm but nothing can prepare you for how real it feels. There is something coming for you and there's nothing you can do about it. Terrifying. You can't move, the room seems to have spots, usually in the corners, that are much much darker than they normally would be. And you have this overwhelming feeling that something is in there with you, watching you. Whenever I had it, it was the same scenario. I would be chained to bed, and a shadow would loom over me. I'd scream and scream, but no noise would come out. I couldn't move and no one could hear me to help. All of a sudden I'll wake up exhausted, because I feel like I've been fighting to break free and screaming for hours. Just horrible. It was terrifying. It happened to me when I was really young, and it freaked me out. I was taking a nap with my mom. When I opened my eyes and couldn't move, I could see into the hallway and felt like something was coming. I also made the mistake of looking up. There were silent screaming faces trying to push their way through my ceiling. Overall the worst thing you could experience. Used to happen to me every few days. I'll wake up, just like any other time I would wake up. Except when I go to roll over or get out of bed. I simply can't. I'm still semi-dreaming, but not aware of it. There is no way for me to comprehend that the shadows in my room are simply shadows and not figures coming at me. My lucid state superimposes threatening characters onto these shadows. There is no question that these figures intend to do harm. I try to fight, but I can't. I try to scream, but I can't. I try to move, but I can't. I try to breathe, but I can't. Though, that's not entirely true. My screams sometimes come through into reality. It's a really ducked up, almost muffled, scream. It's enough to wake up anyone in bed with me. Horrible, only happened a few times to me, but every time I feel an ominous presence walking towards the side of my bed that I cannot see because I sleep in pitch black, I'll feel absolute terror for the few seconds it's seemingly growing closer before I can finally move and swing my fist as hard as possible, only to realize I was dreaming it. I felt scared and weak, I thought a horned creature in a hood was going to gut me alive. I've only had it once fairly recently. Need to preface this by telling you about the dream I had that woke me into the sleep paralysis. I was in my room on my phone when my flatmate texted me that they tried to kill a lizard in the living room but failed and wanted me to do it. Then I was downstairs and I was looking on the floor at this lizard but all around me were these really tall black robed figures with really long sharp fingers and I knew that I couldn't look or interact with them in any way. But then I carry on with killing this lizard, and I stamp on the back of its neck a few times, but just the flesh is gone, and the head is still attached by a single bit of spine and the lizard runs, and climbs up the figure to my right onto its chest slash shoulder area and I grab the lizard off of it, and pulled its head off its body, but then the figure grabs my left arm and the back of my neck and forces me down into a really uncomfortable position, which is when I wake up in my bed, unable to move in the same position from the dream and I can feel the pressure from the long fingers of the creature on my arm and neck, my bed is up against the wall, and I was facing it, so I couldn't have seen anything anywhere as it was behind me, although I kept my eyes squeezed shut as all I could do was pretend to be asleep. I was like that for about 10 to 20 seconds, before I felt the pressure leave and I could move again. Safe to say I slept with the light on after that ducked me up for a bit as it was the first dream it had that took place in this house lol. This used to happen to me like once a week throughout my 20s and 30s, but thankfully hasn't happened in years. I'm actually scared to write about it now, because I don't want to jinx myself. Anyway, it was generally terrifying. I would be awake, but not able to move, 
My mind was screaming out for help but nothing was coming out of my mouth. Sometimes I would feel like something was straddling me and pressing down on my chest and I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was going to suffocate and die right there. I could never see anything sitting on me or in the room, but I felt a scary presence around me. On a few occasions I felt like something large was biting my body like a bear or an alligator. I know it sounds crazy but that's what it felt like. Sometimes it felt like something was holding my arms down as I was trying to get up. When it was finally over I would start screaming and wake my husband up. After these episodes would happen I would be too afraid to go back to sleep and force myself to stay awake as long as I could. Since I stated taking sleeping pills it stopped and hopefully never comes back. It was horrifying. Like the video and subscribe or you will have sleep paralysis tonight.